Let's go ahead and face it. When recording screencasts, mistakes are common. What's great is that Camtasia Studio allows for easy, precise editing, reducing the need to constantly re-record. In this session, we'll explore how to silence mistakes and also tweak the volume of short audio segments through the use of audio points. If you've watched our other videos, you may have already seen how to cut or trim mistakes. But in those examples, both the audio and video are removed, and that might not always be ideal. Sometimes the visuals are fine, but maybe there's an audible cough or an um that you'd like to get rid of. That's when simply silencing that section of audio might work best. First, magnify the timeline to see the waveform in detail. Also, if you have audio on any other tracks, be sure to lock those. Otherwise, they'll be silenced as well. Here's the mistake that I want to edit out. It's this rather large bump. I'll preview the end of the previous phrase right on through the start of the following phrase. Again, if I press the spacebar, I can preview just my current selection. As you can see, Notepad is opened on the left side of my screen and the calculator is here on the right. Uh, for this demonstration, oh dear, I should fix that. Let me bring the selection in a little on each side so that I only have the um selected. Now, back in the audio tab, I can just find and press the silence button. Silencing reduces the volume of the selection down to zero. In a way, it's like I cut out the audio entirely. But silencing has a distinct advantage over cutting, and it has to do with the creation of audio points. An audio point is a clickable handle that gives the ability to make subtle tweaks to audio levels and transitions. You see, the um is gone, but our audio goes from full volume to no volume instantly. There is very little transition from noise to complete silence. It's a little harsh. But by dragging this audio point further to the left, I can increase the amount of time the volume change takes, making it more gradual. I'll do the same thing on the other side when we go from silence back to full volume. This should take us in and out of that silence a little more naturally. As you can see, Notepad is opened on the left side of my screen and the calculator is here on the right. For this demonstration, Ah, much better. Now let's move on to fixing something else. For instance, if one phrase of the narration is just a little too soft, I can adjust the volume of that single phrase. Look at this particular segment here. It's sort of quiet, and I'd like to boost the volume level, but only for this selection. Clicking on Volume Up will give me four new audio points, and the middle two points will have a higher volume than the first and last. From here, clicking and dragging them individually is a very intuitive way to make precise volume adjustments. I can preview and adjust these as many times as necessary until I get the narration as perfect as possible. And lastly, if you ever find yourself wishing you could have just one more audio point, Creating one is as simple as right-clicking where it should be and choosing Add Audio Point. Multiple audio points can be used to raise and lower the levels of individual words if you find that you need to be that detailed in your editing. Feel free to make as many as you may need. Hopefully you're enjoying these simple audio editing tricks. In the next video, I'll show you how to add a little style to your tutorials by coordinating background music with narration. Click here to watch that now. Also, you can click this link to provide feedback on this video tutorial.